What's up, everybody? I'm Nems. This is Hearts of Iron 4, Death or Dishonor. I am Germany. Special thanks to our uh, special Patreons, which are Schmitty, Caleb, and Alec. And here we go. We are going to uh, unpause. And uh, we're working on clearing the skies and the seas um, slowly, but very slowly. Uh, we just sunk a battleship. Uh, battleship, a carrier, three destroyers, and a light cruiser. That is a damn good start. That is a damn good start, everybody. Also, four destroyers, three convoys, and six bombers. We did lose four subs. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can invite somebody to our faction. Which, uh, oh, there's another one. Nice. Nice. All right, uh, let's continue down this tree here. We definitely need it. Who can we invite to our faction? Finland. Finland, who is at war with Russia. We're not doing that. Um, these are just little annoying pop-ups, so we're going to get rid of all of them. All right, good story. All right, so... Another research slot. We'll keep going with our industry stuff. Okay. Uh, what do we need? Just some tungsten. That's okay. Uh, we'll add you to that army. Our second paratrooper army is up to 18, which is good. Speaking of our paratrooper armies, um, I need to uh, expand on them, I think. I'm going to need some... Bigger, bigger paratrooper armies. Let's see, anti tank, field hospital, recon company. You know what I should have on here that is idiotic not to have on here? Yeah, probably because I haven't researched it yet, apparently. Holy shit. Alright, um, we got the extra research slot. We could do that. Um, I'm not ready to befriend any of you guys yet. I uh, don't really need to research that one. God, compared to the new trees uh, with like Hungary and Romania, this seems so vanilla. It seems so small. <laughs> uh, Alright, well we'll go down here and we'll do... Um, air production. I need planes. Definitely, definitely need planes. All right, we got another naval win. We took down a light cruiser, and we took down a destroyer. All right, these are all good, positive things. Checking our air situation again. They have 95 fighters in the sky. Let's see if we can put some more into the English Channel. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of fighters, so let's get more of you up in there. And you guys will um, work on air superiority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're still deploying. All right, no template for medium tank three. That's fine. I don't think I have many of them yet. Only 318. Artillery and tanks are definitely an issue. Um, light tanks, that is. Let's add some light tanks. And then do we have our, yeah, we have our artillery already full. So we'll add a whole, that's not what I want. Um, artillery. Do another one of you. All right. Let's have a full second division of that from a paratroopers perspective. We do need more tungsten, so let's get some more from China. Um, United States is justifying against us. That's not a good thing. So, you guys don't have battle plans. That's part of my problem down here. Alright, well, let's do a couple things. Let's, um... You guys are moving right along down here. 
Are you all assigned down here? You all should be. Now you are. Your problem is you guys got chopped up a little bit. need to keep pushing now, fellas. Hmm. Getting close to dealing with these guys down here. Let's cut them off. Mm -hmm. I think South, South Africa will fall pretty quickly. There's just nothing down here. I mean, they're basically out of troops. Just head to Cape Town. Head straight there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're up here. That's fine. You go that way and that way. You go that way. You go down to Cape Town as well. You're already headed there. Okay. Free civvy factories yet again. So, probably a good idea to build some more dockyards. Still short a little bit of tungsten. That's fine. That's actually fine. Okay. You're heading in there, you're heading in there, you're doing that. We're just about wrapped up down here. Alright. What are you guys doing? Ah, relocating. Got it. Alright, so... Not sure why we're struggling down here, exactly. I mean, I know they've got some places that have a fair bit of troops, but... Not every place. Might need to pull a whole nother army down here, though. All right. All right, I'll take three of you guys and put you in your own army. I'm tempted while we work on this to send all the troop paratroopers down. That reminds me. I do need Marines, but I also need logistics companies. All right, let's take um, these guys and these guys. And um, we're going to put you on a front line right here. And we're going to put you on a front line right here. Draw the line through their country. So, get moving, boys. It's still Finland. Yeah, it's still Finland. Sorry, Finland, still ain't happening. All right, let's see if there's anything else I need to do. How am I doing on motorized? Pretty good, actually. 
So my motorized divisions have artillery engineers and recon. Uh, probably should give them maintenance and anti-tank. And then also, what else do I have on the field? My mountaineers, I suppose I could beef up. All right. So the U.S. just declared war on us. Fun. All right. And I don't know how these guys didn't have anything, but apparently they didn't. All right. We're going to do that. Okay, so let's check on some naval stuff here. We sunk a cruiser, some convoys, another destroyer, come the Philippines, more convoys. Who are we fighting up here? Convoys, okay. All right, South Africa capitulated. That's actually great news. It's less distraction down in this part of the world. So let's finish these guys off. Right, paratroopers are on their way down. <laughs> What do you want to give me? No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Still good, actually. Oil. Oil's becoming a thing. So, I'm going to use our massive construction power to try to deal with that issue. So, let us add a bunch of oil stuff. All right. Some unassigned divisions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have three full paratrooper armies at this rate. Luckily, these guys are not super well equipped. Don't do that. You have no you have no just you have no morale whatsoever. Alright, are those guys all done down there? They are. So they're all repositioning now. So here come the paratroopers. You can go whenever you're there and ready. So can you. All right, we got some navy battles up here. Mm hmm. Sunk a destroyer. Another destroyer. Convoys, convoys. Convoys. Alright, let's check on the air situation. They've got a lot more fighters up. So in the channel. As well as in southern England. So let's see if we've got some more fighters to deploy. Put you guys there. You are to fight other fighters. We've got pretty overwhelming advantage there now. 
All right, let's see what uh, I've got a couple hundred capacity left there. Plenty of capacity here. So let us add another hundred fighters there and put them in the channel. Okay. We have 50% naval supremacy somehow. Oh, here's a big fight. We just sunk one of their carriers. Oh, look at all those bombers. But Oh, wow. This is a battle. Wow. Sunk a destroyer there, but... Another destroyer there, but... We sunk a battle cruiser, a battleship, a carrier... A destroyer convoy and killed seven of their planes. That is a big deal, fellas. Oh, here's another big fight. We've got two carriers less there. We've got 60 destroyers coming in on these guys. Oh, there goes another battleship. Oh, and there's another battleship. And the heavy cruiser. Oh, boy. The carrier's down. Oh, beautimous. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, we're going to move our um, fleet into the uh, into the actual situation here shortly. Alright, do I have... I do not. I'm actually going to build some anti-air along the coast here. Alright. And then, like I said, soon we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make some changes to our air deployment. Obviously, to make before we do this, um, got a thousand planes we can drop in here. We'll want a couple hundred naval bombers deployed there to destroy ships. We need a lot more oil all of a sudden. All right. Got concentrated industry good. All right. Get some marines. Third army of paratroopers is getting ready. Speaking of paratroopers, how are you guys doing down here? They're dying. That's how they're doing down here. <laughs> All right. So. Your offensive line should really be right kind of there. <clears throat> All right, meanwhile, let's get rid of you guys. Leopoldville, which is the capital of Belgium, and we have uh, what the hell is this? Brazzaville, which is the capital of France. They're literally like you could spit on them from each other. It's like the twin cities, and kind of crazy. Just head right there. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. All right, good for you? Question mark. Greater Hungary. Not to be confused with normal Hungary. Okay. Where was I? Alright, are we ready to move the Navy, you think? I feel like this might be the dumb thing I do. That sets me back a significant amount of time. 
But the first thing we want to do, if we're going to do this, is um, we've got to have enough bombers. Uh, we do have a lot of bombers in, in there, actually. Um, not as many as here, though. Let's move these guys over to here. And then we'll move them into here. And then... We will add Search and Destroy to here. And see how horrible an idea this all was. Alright, finished a couple of researches there. Alright, here's the first big fight. Naval bombers are starting to arrive. A lot of naval bombers. I'm not sure what just happened there. I don't know if they retreated or what. Alright, let's get um, the next thing of radar. And we'll also get an improved oil plant. And the last of our um, efficiency there. Also going to kick it up to these new artilleries. This will unfortunately slow down our artillery production. But I'd like to get the new artillery on the lines. Soviet Union, Finland, white piece. Alright, well. that That's a thing that actually happened. All right, there's excavation three. Okay, so um, we've got to get some of uh, we got to get caught up on a lot of stuff. It's just where we're at. I I got really distracted with some things. Oh, big fight over here! Another big fight here? No, it's not a big fight. No, oh, we're trying to catch them. Oh, another battle cruiser down. Oh, here's a fight in here. Yeah, get those bombers in here. Oh yeah, more bombers. And I think they ran. How does that put our naval supremacy in this region? 95%. Wow. That's a big deal. Alright, so with that, um, I am going to. How are we doing on artillery? We're almost caught up. Alright, let's take a look down here. Who's got the most experienced army down here? Uh, none of them are all, oh, all that impressive, honestly. You go. Shove these Americans back. I'm going to put all of you guys on that line. Because you guys should be able to take care of these these fellas. Don't you snag them on your way out, though. You guys all should be able to take these guys out. At least pin them in place long enough that we can take them out. All right. Okay, now. I may swap these guys over for Marines. Do I have Marines ready to roll yet? I don't think I do.
Okay. Naval battle. There goes another heavy cruiser. Destroyer down. All right, so we're starting to get a little bit of intel down here. We've got a little bit more research to do to get that a little bit better off, though. We're working on. Going to get some better radar. Going to get some uh, more encryption decryption after this. Trying to get rid of the last of these enemy fleets. Oh wow. That's a lot of bombers. That is 850 bombers swinging at these guys. Wow. Alright. They do have a fair bit more enemy fighters in the air right now. So I'm going to pull uh, you guys back to the channel. Maybe you guys as well. Yeah, they pulled a lot of fighters back now. Alright, let's get um, let's get these fighters back here. Do I have any more fighters to deploy? No, but I do have more naval bombers. Let's get some of them uh, up and running. And then I'll get some more fighters in the air here soon. Alright, that's taken care of. Naval combat. It's not really a big deal. Dangerous naval invasion. I think we're okay. We appear to be okay. Alright, five days till we get the next um, radar station, which will be good. Uh, Africa is about wrapped up, which is good. I say Africa. The southern Africa is about wrapped up. Uh, western Africa is still pushing. Tanatuba, okay. Alright, so we got the better radar. I'm actually going to push for the next stage of radar. Alright, so construction wise, I want to get the level 2 radars all along the coast for sure. Probably even back here. Alright. The Soviet Union is justifying this. So this is what I was talking about. I didn't have any issues with this. The molotov ribbentrop Pact, in my opinion, starts a freaking clock. Oh boy. All right, we are going to have to... Is this the infantry only one? That's fine. Uh, recon. Port artillery. All right, we are going to make the shit out of some of these guys. That's the last one of you.
Yeah, we just sucked up all that infantry equipment we thought we had. Alright, so Southern Africa is done. Just good. So you guys now, I want you to head back... ...to here. Now that there's 200 Soviet divisions on my border. Alright, let's take a look over here. Okay, we're good there. Okay. Another cruiser and destroyer down. Another battleship down. Another battleship down. We're definitely whittling down their, uh... Whittling down their, air, their naval significantly. Which is just in time for the Soviets to declare war on us. Okay. Um... down here as well. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and put a cut here. That'll give me some time to think about how the heck we're gonna handle this Soviet problem we just inherited. Because I... Like I said, I'm, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm saying it, every game, the timing seems similar. The amount of time between getting the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact and then going to war with Soviets sure feels like it's the same every time. Or not the same, but it's real close. Whereas sometimes when I don't do it, I don't, I don't ever have pop problems with Papa Joe. At least not for, until way later. But now they're getting ready to go to war with Japan, so we're gonna have issues. All right, everybody. If you guys are enjoying this series, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next episode.